Hey guys, it's uh, April 20, 22nd. Yeah, April 22nd, 10.30. It's Earth Day, right? Yeah, dude, it's almost, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's Earth Day. April 22nd, Earth Day. It's about 10.30 a.m. We're sitting here on College Avenue in Athens, Georgia. And uh, about two days ago, I met this guy named uh, Huck. And he's been traveling for about a year and a half throughout America. And he said he's, he's been having an amazing time. We actually, on April 20th, we got we had a huge jam session with buckets, melodica, guitars, piano, and it was pretty sick with about like five or six people. It was really amazing. Uh, but I wanted to ask him, what is what's one of your what's one of the craziest things you've seen on your journey in the past year and a half? Man, probably the craziest things I've seen is uh, just all the variants in this country, man. Like it's wild how we're all. We're all here in this same country, all kind of angry and angst against the government for what they're doing and, and the society they're putting us down on. But we're still so different, man. And like, everyone's still got their own idea about it and they're still going about their own way. You know, like, their own way to kind of buck the system. Even if they got, you know, a huge job or whatever, they still got that little bit of uh, uh, insight in their head that's like, this isn't right, man. And, yeah. and, and it, you know, they may wait for the weekend to get it out, you know, to get all that angst out of their system and stuff or whatnot, but uh, everyone's doing it, man. A lot of people are waking up to this idea, man, waking up to the reality instead of this illusion. Yeah. What's one of the, what's like, who's like one of the craziest people you met? Did you talk, we talked about like someone in San, uh, San Diego, right? Yeah, oh, oh man, there's a bunch of crazy people in San Diego. The craziest people I've met have been home bums. Like, like those old home bumps. I met this dude in Santa Barbara that was just wild, dude. He was everywhere. He's telling me about how he likes to smoke DMT with crack. And, like, like he's just like, dude, was crazy, dude. He's like, yeah, man, I used to smoke cream cereals. I met this one lady in L.A., and she was telling me for, like, 20 minutes that I need to smoke PCP. She's like, you need to smoke PCP, man. It's awesome. You're high for, like, three days. It's way cool. Don't eat those shrooms, kid. Like, shrooms are bad. You need to smoke PCP. Like, like wow. 20 minutes, dude, just on a bus. <laughs> we, he, he, we were talking before, actually. There was one time he talked about, uh, he got a, some guy gave him a car. In uh, San Diego, yeah, right? straight giving a car, man. Just handed a car. He uh, <laughs> he'd been praying about it. He said, and uh, it was the only way for him to stay in the country. He was gonna get deported because it was his uh, second uh, DUI. He got in an accident, so he wasn't allowed to drive. And he's like, yeah, man, if I uh, if they find out that I was driving the car, the accident a few days ago, they're gonna deport me. They're gonna send me back to Mexico, man. I can't do that. My family's here. My career's here. Everything's here. So he, he blessed my boy and I with a car, man. You know, you didn't need a key to start it. Only one window worked all the way. <laughs> Couldn't open one of the doors. Wow. Uh, three of the windows were broken. <laughs> but it was a car, dude. It saved yeah. us from the rain. <laughs> That's great. Well, yeah. It was yeah. nice. Nice it's meeting good you. To know we're going to have, we're gonna have a crazy jam session either tonight or tomorrow with oh, yeah, a, a bunch of the guys and yeah, one of his friends, one of his other sick. buddies. Yeah, 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 <laughs> awesome, bro. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That was cool.